Well, let's head back to Lisbon, where Pope Francis has arrived in Portugal for celebrations to mark World Youth Day, a Vatican-endorsed international festival. And we're just seeing some live pictures in Lisbon now where the Pope is attending a welcome ceremony and meeting the Portuguese president. And it is likely, though, we're seeing wonderful pictures now, but it is likely that this visit may be overshadowed by a recent official report detailing the sexual abuse of nearly 5,000 children by Portuguese clergy, mainly priests, over a 70-year period. Well, let's cross live now to Alison Roberts, who is in Lisbon for us. And Alison, we're just seeing that lovely welcome ceremony, but in the backdrop, there are some serious allegations and a serious report that may overshadow this. Yes, as you say, the Pope being welcomed there by the president, Conservative president, Marcelo Rebelo de Sousa, who yesterday said that this was a dream come true for Portugal to host this World Youth Day. Uh, but as you say, in general, anything to do with the Catholic Church in Portugal has been overshadowed by that report by an independent commission released on in February after a year's work that found that over a 70-year period they extrapolated on the basis of victims and witnesses that they received testimony from that more than 4,800 victims uh, could be uh, numbered and uh, they say that doesn't exclude that there might have been more. Now it was not only the fact that there were those victims according to the report but also the way those cases were handled at the time and indeed, subsequently, the reaction of the church leadership to that report, although they had commissioned it, was also not generally seen as ideal. And in fact, they afterwards apologized uh, to the wording of some of the comments they made about it. And this is, of course, an issue that Pope Francis himself has made a very central one to his papacy, repeatedly urging uh, the leadership of churches in different countries to get a grip on this problem and deal with it. And he'll be meeting with some victims uh, in Portugal while he's here, but that meeting is going to be extremely discreet. According to the Cardinal Patriarch of Lisbon, the most senior, church, senior churchman here, even he didn't know where it would be taking place. And yes, he is going to be, well, we understand he's going to be meeting uh, some of the victims of this child sex abuse scandal. Uh, but also, not only looking back, he wants to look forward, doesn't he? He's outlined some potential reforms for the church. That's something that's been very characteristic of his papacy, of course. Um, he's not only outlined reforms, but he's also asked the national churches to come up with their own suggestions for reforms. And in fact, Portugal's church, although it is has been seen by some as quite conservative, has put forward some quite strikingly liberal ones, one might say, such as, for example, suggesting that uh, married men could be ordained priests and also that the church should do more to embrace different types of families. So certainly in some parts of the church here, Francis will have some support on those grounds.